Right, so today then we're looking at trial and improvement, okay? Four marks that is there every year for you to easily collect, okay? It is a similar looking question every year, four marks in the bag, right? So the equation x cubed plus 3x equals 41 has a solution between 3 and 4. Use trial and improvement to find the solution to one decimal place. Right. The best thing about these questions, it looks the same every year. But look for those words. Okay. It tells you it's trial and improvement. Okay. Pythagoras questions don't necessarily tell you to use Pythagoras or trigonometry or simultaneous equations. This one does exactly what it says on the tin. I've got an equation and you'll notice that it gives you a lot of space, another clue. We need to, first of all, draw a table, okay? Now, don't put a bottom on the table because we don't know how far we're going to go. This one's going to be our x values. This one's going to be our equation. This one's going to be comment, trial and improvement. We're going to trial something, see how close it is, and then improve on it. Now, the solution is between three and four. So we know these are the x values, okay? If we put three into this equation here, it will be too small because it's between three and four. If we substitute the values of four, it'll be too big. So we're not going to look at 3 and 4 straight away. If it's between there, thank you very much, Mr. Examiner. I'm going to use that to help me. I'm going to start with 3.5, which is midway between here. So I'm going to put start at the midpoint. Midpoint is 3.5. Now, if x is 3.5, we need to use some substitution. So 3.5 cubed plus 3 lots of 3.5. And now I'm going to pop that into my calculator. So I've got 3.5 cubed plus, I'm going to use brackets here as well, 3 times 3.5 close bracket equals 53.375. Now, this is my target, okay? I am aiming to get 41. You can clearly see this is too big. So I'm going to write there, too big. Now, we're going to give our answer to one decimal place. So we just want to follow this process to see how close we can get. Well, if 3.5 is too big, then let's try 3.4. Don't delete everything that's on the screen and write it out again. That's a waste of time. Just press back and change the 3.5 for 3.4. Again, this is just about just having a play on your calculator to become more familiar with it. So when x is 3.4, our answer would be 49.504. As we're aiming for 41, this again is too big. So that's too big, let's try 3.3. So 3.3. Again, I am writing down all of my steps. Every single one of these, I'm writing down because they're worth the marks. When x is 3.3, we are looking at 45.837. Again, too big, but you can see we are getting closer. Let's change the 3.3 for 3.2 this time. So that's 3.2. Our answer is 42.368. We're getting closer. If that's too big, let's try 3.1. And I'm hoping you're just working alongside me here to see if your numbers on your calculators are exactly the same as mine. And when they are exactly the same as mine, you know you're using this effectively. Now, 39 is too small because we're looking to get 41. And that's what will happen, okay? You'll keep going until it's gone the other way. You might start off getting too small and then all of a sudden, oh, it's too big. And this time it was too big the whole way down. Until you get too small. So our answer is going to be either 3.1 or 3.2. Now, 
You might be able to work out in your head which one it's closest to, but the examiner's not interested. The examiner is interested in you finding halfway between these to work out which one of these it is closest to. And halfway between these is 3.15. So a bit of substitution again. I'm going to change the 3.1 for 3.15 to make 40.7. Now, yes, that's a lot closer than 41. However, it's asked for one decimal place. So the answer is going to be one of these two. 40.7 is too small, even though it's very, very close. So I'm going to use a number line. Okay. Now we're trying to get to 41. 3.1, 3.2, 3.15. Now, 3.1 was too small. 3.2 was too big. 3.15 was too small as well. So our value has to be somewhere between there to make as close to 41 as possible. Now, the question is asked for one decimal place. Well, using this number line, we can clearly see it is closer to 3.2. So our answer then would be x equals 3.2. And that's it. You'll notice though, with these last three, as long as you follow the process correctly, by exactly saying what I've done there, you will notice that when you've got your last three words, the odd one out is too big. And you'll notice that the 3.2 was the correct answer. So as long as you do it step by step, halfway, pick the odd one out of the last three that will be your answer. This number line just explains it a little bit clearer to you. So four marks then, okay? Now, if you didn't do this bottom bit here, even if you've done all of that work, you would only get two marks because all you've done is you've shown what's halfway between three and four, and you've shown some substitution with your calculator. However, this would then be your third mark which then releases the fact of your fourth mark for your correct answer. So this part here, if I use a highlighter, this part is the most important part of trial improvement. Okay, some of you might think, oh, I don't need to, I can see it's, which one's closer. I know, okay, I can see as well. But do this part, uh, this part a step here, sorry, to get those extra two marks, four marks, in the bag every single year. Good luck, have a go. It really is four marks given to you because it's the same every single year. Hope it helps.